question uh, to the Premier. Mr. Speaker, as you know, this fall, taxpayers will receive a triple whammy of property assessment increases oh. all at once. Oh, this, of course, a courtesy to Dalton McGuinty's cynical move to freeze assessments until coincidentally after the last election. Today, the Coalition for Property Tax Reform and the Waterfront Ratepayers After Fair Taxation released a report by respected real estate firm Cushman Wakefield LePage to determine the likely outcome for Ontario homeowners. The result, Mr. Speaker, homeowners can expect up to a 154 percent increase oh, no. in their assessments oh, no. this fall. In light of this dramatic news, Premier, will you agree to cap property assessment increases to protect Ontario homeowners? Excellent. Premier. Mr. Finance. Mr. Speaker, we don't share the same view as the opposition on capping. No, no, we won't do that. That would have the effect, Mr. Speaker, of shifting, shifting the property tax burden from, low, uh, from high growth areas to low growth areas. We don't think it's the right answer over time. Uh, in fact, even the member himself had said that this was a problem that his government created in the St. Catherine Standard, That's March true. 2006. Uh, the member sitting behind him, Mr. Yakubuski, said, asked if, former, if the former government under Premier Harris bungled the property tax evaluation system. Mr. Yakubuski said, Yes, it seems apparently so. Uh, we agree with Mr. Hudak and Mr. Yakubuski that, in fact, they bungled the system. We think their proposal now would, in fact, make it worse. We don't support capping, and we, in fact, have a four-year assessment phase in which we think will help the average Ontario property taxpayer Next manage question. assessment Next changes. Thank you. Supplementary. Well, Mr. Speaker, the minister well knows that for assessments of that level, uh, if you phase it in over years, that's up to a 40 per cent increase uh, per year. And your Toronto area MPPs may be quite alarmed with assessment increases predicted to be up to 102 per cent in St. Paul, 51 per cent in Willowdale. Minister, this means whether you live in Grimsby or Ottawa or London, homeowners can expect high double-digit or triple-digit increases in the property assessments this September. The Homestead Act, Mr. Speaker, is before the Assembly today. It would cap skyrocketing assessments at a maximum of 5 per cent a year. Given this result from the real estate firm, will the minister agree to cap assessments before taxpayers get hit with a triple whammy this fall? Finance. No, Mr. S no, Mr. Speaker, we won't. And uh, just to be very clear, Mr. Speaker, what the member is suggesting, uh, we simply don't share that view. In fact, uh, assessment changes don't necessarily lead to uh, 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 property tax increases. But you know what he could have helped us with, Mr. Speaker? Today, he voted against a property tax grant for seniors just an hour ago. A billion dollars over five years, Mr. Speaker, and he voted against it, and every member of that caucus just voted against it. That, Mr. Speaker, and they voted against the senior property tax credit grant, not on one occasion, but three occasions. You you messed the system up. We're certainly not going to rely on you for advice now. We reject capping. And why, why wouldn't you have voted to give our senior citizens a billion dollars in property tax relief over the next five years? You guys just don't get it. New question, the member from Beaches East Shore. 